welcome back to my channel it's brandy here with another video and in today's video you guys this is going to be my first vlogmas video so it's pretty random it's all over the place but i hope you guys really really enjoy it and don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see y'all in the video we're not going outside yet okay you guys so here is my entryway don't mind that right there we're moving stuff but this is my entryway i just put up these two cones that i've had for like ever and then i put like some cute ornaments i did not know what to do with this space right here and i wanted something in here that was christmasy so that's what i did but yeah i got i put these cute ornaments right here and then i put this cute table runner i need to pull it up some so that this won't show um and then these lights these are light up at night i'll show y'all and then i put these cute deer right here again i've had these for quite some time if you have been following me for a while then you know that and then in this bag down here i mean not bag basket i have a pillow and a blanket that i have like usually i have it set up really cute my grandma did that but yeah this is what i have on my entryway so far i'm probably going to change this up but i'll show y'all like the completed look once i put the tree up and you know give y'all the whole little christmas vibe now we're about to put this tree up it's a mess in here but it's gonna be cute it's gonna be cute it's gonna be cute trust the process trust the process All right, y'all, so here are the ornaments and everything. I'm about to go ahead and start putting everything on the tree. I got, I'm using my same stuff from last year. Um, the same colors that I did, the blush and the gold, cause those are just my favorite colors. But I do have two trees this year, so, um, and they probably still both gonna be the same color. <laughs> cause I don't know, it's just something about blush and gold that just does it for me. But yeah, I did get a new tree. Let me show y'all this new tree. So here's the new tree. I got this. It's seven and a half foot tall. So it's a pretty big tree. But yeah, the small flock one that I had from last year is upstairs in my bedroom because I am gonna do a tree in my room this year. So yeah, now I am just about to start decorating this. I would not be me if I didn't forget something. So I'm in there thinking I'm gonna put up my tree. And I don't know what happened to all the little um things for the ornament that you hang on the tree. I don't know what happened to all of my ones from last year, but I have zero. So your girl's about to go to Target. Just needed an excuse. Just needed an excuse, honey. Why is FedEx need to bring me my packages?
am so first of all look at what Kelly did to my phone. I need to clean my phone off. This is Okay, y'all, so I was supposed to be back yesterday, but once I went to Target and got some of her Christmas stuff, I came home, and I didn't even finish decorating the tree, but I'm gonna do that tonight. We're doing that tonight. Callie's upstairs sleeping, thank goodness. Um, She, I had to take her to the doctor today because she ended up having a sinus infection, but I noticed this past weekend, she was like coughing really bad, so, and then she had like some discharge coming from her eyes, and I knew it was a pink eye because her eyes weren't turning pink, they were just discharging. So I woke up first thing this morning and called and got her an appointment today. So I took her to the doctor and it ended up being a sinus infection. But get this, so he prescribed her some medication. Why was I driving all around town looking for the medication? I initially went to Walgreens, which is where they sent it to, and they were like, we don't have it. All of the Walgreens are out of stock of it. You have to find a drug in a different form. Just telling me all this stuff and I'm like, for real? So I'm thinking that I'm just gonna have to like go to CVS that's across the street and get the amoxicillin. They ain't have it either. Went to another CVS, they ain't have it either. Like at this point, I was driving around town and calling every pharmacy, being on hold for like 10 to 15 minutes at a time. And it was literally so frustrating, like so frustrating. But anyways, um, my mom ended up calling Publix and they went ahead and got it for us. They were, she said they were so kind. Um, of which the people who I would call the people who I was calling like the pharmacies they were being really rude to me so I was like hella annoyed because I'm like it's not my fault that y'all don't have the uh, like why are you getting annoyed at me for calling like my baby sick won't play like that around here like somebody need to find the medicine so my mom ended up getting it um filled at Publix so I have to just go pick it up now but she's not she's like not in any pain or anything she's fine she's still been running around being her normal toddler terrible to self so i went ahead and did her normal routine like gave her a bath um you know got her ready for bed or whatever so now she's up there sleeping and i'm gonna show y'all what i picked up for her from target um the stuff that she got so far for christmas and then i'm about to decorate the tree but i also shopped at the bath and body works candle sale now normally like okay i used to be on like a really really big bath and body work kick back in the day um but then like i kind of like stopped getting into their candles because i just found that the ones that like tj maxx and target and stuff they were much cheaper and they did the same thing basically so i kind of stopped buying bath and body works candles and i also like forever move from jackie ima even though they are a little pricey i asked for some for christmas so hopefully santa is good to me but um i really like hasn't i haven't been shopping at bath and body works recently so but they had their candle sale so i was like you know what let me go in here and pick up a couple of candles or whatever see what they have and i smell some stuff that smells really really good because i kind of like those soft scents now i used to be into like all of the fruity scents and stuff like back in the day but now those give me a headache so i like really soft scents so yeah um i still want to pick some up from there and I got like maybe 10 of them. So, really good deal. I paid like 80 something dollars after everything. So it's pretty good. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm gonna do, show y'all the candles. And then I'm gonna show y'all what Callie got for Christmas, well, what she's getting for Christmas. I just recently started her Christmas shopping. And then I'm gonna finish the tree tonight, so. Okay. So, let's get into these candles. I have a couple here, but the first one that I have is this coconut and sandalwood. You know what? This camera really pisses me off. It's this coconut and sandalwood. And, okay, so when I smell this, it's really soft. Let me see what, oh. It reminds me of that, like, have y'all been seeing people, like, you find dupes of the 
Santel 33. I think that's what it's called. I think I'm pronouncing it right. But that's what this kind of smells like. Um, and the notes are coconut palm, luxurious sandalwood, warm musk, and jasmine. It smells so good, y'all. Like, it's not too strong. And that's what I like. It's really soft. The next one that I have. Okay, so I bought two of these. And these are actually gifts. For someone, it is the Notorious Mahogany Teakwood. If you shop at Bath & Body Works, then you already know what this smells like. Really good. Kind of like a really strong male scent, if you will. And But I've had, like, back in the day, I used to have this in my apartment all the time. It smells so good. Very masculine. Um, but, yeah, I actually picked these two up for gifts for someone. Um, let's see what we got here. Okay, so this is... Cinnamon spiced vanilla and hot cocoa and cream. Girl, like, um, so really, oh, burning this, okay, Christmas Eve. A vibe, a vibe. It smells so good. It smells like Christmas. Oh, I didn't even tell y'all what was in it. Look at me. Um, Okay, so this is decadent milk chocolate, ground cinnamon, vanilla bean. Chef's kiss. It smells like hot cocoa and fresh cookies. That's what it smells like. Now, this is just a regular vanilla bean. I also like these, the um, the aesthetic candle holders. These are so cute. Little jars. The candles come in. Vanilla bean essential, okay? The nostalgia. Smells good smells good if you smell one vanilla bean you smell them all but yeah this smells really good and i picked up another let i picked up another one another one of the hot cocoa and cream that's how you know i like it it smells good though y'all i like it my 50th time it says blends by bath and body works i've never seen that before but yeah, that smells good. What's the next one we got here? Okay, so this says strawberry snowflakes. It smells really good. It's really soft. It's really soft. Um, the notes in this are juicy strawberry, whipped cream, and iced bergamot. Yeah, smells good. Smells good, girl. Very light. And then I have two more. Two more here. This is white woods and peach. And the notes in this says juicy peach. I love anything peach though. Like peach smells so good. Um, juicy peach, soft white woods, cinnamon stick. It smells like this is something that I would burn in my bathroom. Like that's what it smells like. So it smells really clean and really fresh. I would definitely burn this in my bathroom. And this is what it looks like. And then, last but not least, I think you pronounce this Hinoki. Hinoki wood and lavender. That's what it says. Um, the notes in this is calming Hinoki wood, fresh lavender, and a hint of coconut. I also really like anything coconut too. Like coconut scent is just so fresh and clean and like it doesn't do a lot. I like it. This smells good too. I would also burn this in my bathroom. Like this smells really good. And I got one in there burning now. It's like some kind of oh, it says whiskey and coffee. I have that one too. But this is what this one looks like. And girl, smells good. So yeah, those are the candles that I got. Not too much. Not too much. But Bath and Body Works candles still slap. Don't get me wrong. They still smell really good. But they had got to a point. They had got to a point where they was getting beside themselves. Them prices was getting a little high. They was a little up there. Even with the sales. I don't know if it's just because I've been around for a long time. So, like, I remember when they used to be, like, $10. And then Candle Day, they were $8. Like, this Candle Day, they were... Ten dollars. Yeah, I mean I know everything is the price of everything is going up, but I just remember candle day, they being eight dollars. And it's like 
now they're 10. This is this used to be like what? This used to be the regular price of them. So that's why I kind of stopped shopping at Bath and Body Works because the prices were getting outrageous. The prices were getting outrageous and I don't want to pay. I don't want to pay that for no candles no more. I, ever since TJ Maxx really spoiled me. Going to TJ Maxx and finding them seven and eight dollar candles, the soy candles too, and they fill up the whole house. Yeah, I got a bit spoiled. But Bath and Body Works uh, will always come in handy. So now I'm about to show y'all what I got at Cali for Christmas, if y'all can. Okay, y'all, so these are some of the things Cali got for Christmas. The first thing is this. This is like what I was picking up in Target, basically. But she got this perfectly cute, just like mommy purse. Then I got her this super cute magic sink set. And then also a Care Bear. So fun fact, Callie is completely obsessed with stuffed animals. Like my girl love a good stuffed animal. So I was like, okay, I seen this cute little Care Bear one. So I picked that up for her. And then also got this bubbling bathtub from Perfectly Cute. Another stroller. She has one already, but she broke it because she thinks that she is supposed to, well, when she was a little younger, she thought that she was supposed to sit in this. So it like tore on the side, it has like a rip in it. Um, so yeah, went ahead and got another one of these. And also got her a little carrier because she loves her baby dolls. Um, then I got this Get Glam Magic Vanity. Ooh, I'm sorry. This Get Glam Magic Vanity from Minnie Mouse. She loves Minnie Mouse. Also, this Picture Perfect Play Camera. Now, I don't know how we're going to do with this because she likes real stuff. So, I try to get her like the pretend stuff. And she don't like it as much. I don't know what's up with that. But got her this picture perfect play camera because she absolutely loves a camera. And then also this super sizzling kitchen from Minnie Mouse. So yeah, that is what I picked up so far. This was first run. I'm probably going to try to be done with her Christmas shopping like in the next week or so. I need to go back to the store. She did. Well, we ordered a inflatable like a bounce house, a trampoline and a power wheel as well. So, yeah, waiting on that stuff to come in the mail. But, of course, she still needs, like, little toys to put under the tree. So, that's what I've been trying to pick up now. Next thing is probably going to be, like, a little dollhouse or something. But, yeah, this is what we got. And I also like Perfectly Cute because it is so affordable, y'all. Like, their stuff. She has a lot of Barbie dolls from them. But, y'all know kids be losing toys all the time. Like, this stuff is going to be lost. So, we... <clears throat> Oh, excuse me. I did not spend a lot of money on these at all. These were like, this stuff was like $10 and $12. So, really, really good deal. Definitely, if you have like a little one, try out the Perfectly Cute brand. I got this from Target, but I'm sure they have it at like Walmart and other places. So, yeah, that's what Kelly got so far. But now I'm going to go decorate the tree.
officially finished this tree. Your girl is done in here. Well, well, with the tree at least. I'm gonna add some more stuff in here and then I'm gonna go ahead and start wrapping gifts, of course. But pretty much same ornaments from last year. I didn't buy anything new. Just got another tree. So, but I do have to get ornaments for the flock tree upstairs. So I'm gonna do that as well. And then I'm gonna try to vlog that. But this was taking me longer than expected because my other tree was smaller. So I had to figure out like what placements I wanted to do. Cause I didn't wanna have too many ornaments in one spot. But yeah, this is. All right, you guys. So that is going to conclude my first Vlogmas video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see y'all in the next video. Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Brandy here with another video. And in today's video, you guys, this is going to be my first Vlogmas video. So it's pretty random, it's all over the place. But I hope you guys really, really enjoy it. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the video.